planning on probably talking to, to Dale some. He, <laughs> I think it was like my first run out on the track. He had, I went and checked my phone and, and he had uh, already texted and called me and <laughs> wanted to know my thoughts on it. So it's so cool to see his, um, how much he cares about it really. And so um, it'll be a cool event. It's so, so crazy to see this place come back to life. And um, yeah, it's gonna be quite the event. It's definitely the perfect place for a throwback race. This is super cool, but like I said, it's the infield is, is beautiful and it's surrounded by a, a track with so much history. Obviously, you, you hear about it from every, everyone in the shop that's been working in this sport forever and, um, and past drivers, uh, just legends of our sport. Uh, this, is, this is the place that, that you always hear about. And then over the past few years, you really had seen pictures uh, of it kind of coming to life and then rumors that man this place might come back and it's I think every racer loves a short track so um, we were uh, excited about it and you know, it was so cool to to see really Dale Jr. and and others kind of attack this place and make it reality again. I very rarely do you ever have a test and you're smiling the whole time and your car didn't handle good and you're slipping and sliding and you know it's it was just fun to drive laps here, um, let alone have to be performance wise and have to be on the top of our game. And you know, it's a test we have to learn and come back, but I just had just as much fun just running laps here and just being in this whole setting and talking to you guys and just being here is, is something special to me. And it's a lot of, it was a lot of fun to just be slipping and sliding and be able to learn a little bit at a time at this place. I've never been here. It took me 20 minutes to find the entrance. It was tough for me to get here and find everything, but I, I've never been here and didn't know what to expect and really didn't watch any laps, just knowing how different everything was going to be. I just kind of wanted to come into this blind, and I think that was helping. And now I have a lot of data and a lot of everything to just go back and when I come back to race. Sounds silly, but like as this is our field of dreams place, like that. I'm not a baseball fan, but that was super cool to see that, and you know I've seen the movie and super cool. So this was just like that. You know, this is our our deal. You know, this is what everybody expects, and everybody has high expectations. So hopefully we meet it. And you know, I was met beyond. Yeah, I just felt like I was walking into a racetrack that we didn't belong to be at. Like it just felt like I was shouldn't. I was living the dream of being able to be here, never expected to run laps here, never expected to do what we're doing. And I'm just really glad that NASCAR and everybody, Dale Jr., Cars Tour, everybody just kept pushing and kept picking at, hey, let's make this a reality. And uh, luckily they picked the truck series to come here as well. I mean, this one's gonna be the biggest weekend of the year. <laughs> it don't it don't matter how many cars are here, especially being an all star race. Like, I think this this is it could pay zero dollars and everybody's gonna want to win this race. It could pay I, like I want to be the one that gets to go up that ramp. Like that is the coolest victory lane ever. I will literally not. They'll have to cancel the all star race. I promise you, I'm not leaving. I'll watch the cup race from there. I'm not I'm not leaving. Yeah, I feel like we actually learned a lot. Uh, we went through a lot of progressions that we would at a typical short track if we had you know, an all-day test um, like you used to be able to years ago. Um, I definitely feel like uh, this track is a lot less grip than most people thought it was gonna be, including us. Uh, we definitely you know, struggled for grip, especially past lap 25. Uh, I think all three trucks really did, and um, I feel like we've found some things that'll help, but um, you know, we come back here and, and basically the summertime and it's gonna be a lot warmer, a lot more rubber laid down. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how that all shakes out. I think a lot of people are gonna be uh, struggling for grip. Yeah, it's uh, it's really cool. It's a definitely a historic moment for NASCAR and you know, uh, and racing in general. I feel like uh, when I came here in, in the summertime last year to race the late model stock cars, uh, it's definitely really cool to see the stands packed out and how many fans we got out here. So uh, to see what NASCAR brings is gonna be super exciting. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I think this is going to be a once in a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, you know, with with this track being as worn out and historic as it is, I feel like it's going to uh, bring a lot of fans, bring a lot of excitement, and race under a really big spotlight, which is very exciting for me.